Well, it was bound to happen at some point. Since today is gonna to be another chill day at home, getting things done around the house, I am probably not gonna do my makeup today and I'm probably not gonna put on real clothes. So, big comfy hoodie and I probably won't even put in my contacts. Welcome to Vlogmas day 10. Coffee is done. I'm trying to decide if I should froth some chocolate milk and put a little peppermint extract in it. I don't know, should we, should we go for a little homemade latte moment? I mean, not really, because I'm not firing up the espresso machine today. I really should do that soon, though. It's about 10 a.m. I'm almost done editing yesterday's vlog and getting that up. Hmm, I feel like I always have dishes. I've got to get the dishes done, too, and i got to figure out what I want for breakfast. Usually I would make a smoothie, but I haven't been doing that lately, because I guess I've been lazy, but I should probably do that. We should do that. We should make a smoothie. We should be healthy today, but the lunch that I'm making today is like, got a lot of oil in it, so it's not that healthy. But it is collard greens and tofu. Hmm. Oatmeal for breakfast, smoothie for breakfast, yogurt for breakfast, pancakes for breakfast. I don't know. I have, I am being super indecisive this morning. You know what? That just means I mean, need more coffee. My brain's not working yet. Let's go ask my boyfriend what he thinks. Here's your coffee. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm trying to figure out what I want for breakfast. Um. Do I want to make a smoothie? Do I want to make oatmeal? Do I want to put frothed chocolate oat milk in my coffee? I have so many, I don't know. A smoothie would probably be the best. Okay, let's make a smoothie. Like you know you dropped one, but you can't find it. Okay, let's go finish uploading yesterday's vlog and then do some cleaning. Update, I still have a little bit of computer work to do. 
but it is lunchtime, so we're gonna go ahead and make lunch. And I realized that I forgot to clean the blender after making a smoothie this morning. Mm. So I'm gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna do the dishes while I make lunch. <sighs> and then after lunch, we're gonna go back to the computer, we're gonna get everything done, and then relax. So now we're trying to make these jerk tofu collard green wraps, and they have a lot going on. We've got tofu frying over here, blanched collars over here, cilantro sauce over here, and we got some garlic chips over here. I gotta blend the sauce now. It's coming together. Oh, and like the marinade is like separated out, drained. I don't even remember what for. Some tofu wrapped in collard greens. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test of this. I might need a knife to cut the collards. Yeah, I'm gonna need a knife. There's like a softness to the tofu because of the air root powder that I was not expecting. I don't hate it. And I think the cilantro sauce goes well with the jerk marinade. Mm, I do think it's like really hard to eat though. I definitely cut my tofu in like a different shape than I was supposed to. But I also was using like a giant block of tofu instead of like a normal block of tofu. I definitely think I like this better than the mushroom gumbo that we tried from this book last night. But again, way too much oil in these recipes for me to want to make them on a regular basis. Okay, wow, that was actually like really filling. I did not eat all of it. I probably ate like a little bit more than I should have, but we're going to be good. We're going to not finish our plate because we are full. Listening to our bodies. Mmm. The kitchen is such a mess even more now, but I really want to go get the rest of my computer work done and then attack the kitchen. I feel like I have to clean my kitchen every single day, like full counters, stove, all the dishes, dishes like multiple times a day, let's be honest. It's like actually getting warm in this sweater. My goodness. It was like in the 40s this morning when we got up and it is 81 outside now. Texas, thank you. Not keeping the winter weather consistent. It would be a really nice day though to go wash my car because I really need to go wash my car. I don't know that we're gonna have time to do that today though. Excuse you. I'm not gonna forget to take my vitamins today. Like I always do. probiotic daily and of course a b12 if we go work out later i'll probably take maca before we go work out but i think we're okay today my partner and i always talk about taking a vitamin d as well but like look at the amount of light and like sunlight that comes in our apartment even when the blinds are closed and a lot of times we'll open them up in the morning and like not close them until I don't know, like four o'clock. So we get quite a bit of sunlight. And so what I'm, I feel like when I'm hanging out in here, like I'm still getting enough vitamin D. I don't know. Y'all let me know if that like actually works like that or not. Back to work. Okay, so um, you can probably tell it's like a little bit darker now. A lot darker now. Um, <clears throat> I just finished all of the computer work that I needed to get done today. So, woohoo, check that off my list. Ooh, everything except for ordering eyeliner. I need to order more eyeliner because I'm running low. We can do that. 
tomorrow. I feel like I always put off the things that cost money. Ugh, I'm gonna pay for my nails tomorrow too. Ugh, maybe it'll just be like a pay for self care type of day. I did not get around to cleaning my desk, but that's okay. I can do that next week. And I did not get a chance to make the centerpiece, but again, that's okay. I can do that hopefully tomorrow. So my partner wants to work out, so I think I'm gonna change and get ready for a little workout. We're probably just gonna do like what we've been doing throughout the holidays, which is a routine of squats, crunches, push-ups, and um, stretching and split holds, just like so we can get our body moving, get a little bit done every day. And then I still do want to do something else on this vlog for y'all and hopefully I'll be able to do that either after we work out or before we work out. Okay, so we're having the same thing we had last night because I like to meal prep for a few days. The mushroom gumbo, except tonight, I thickened it up with a little bit of potato starch and made a side of kale because there was no dark greens in this meal and it needed some vegetables. It needed some extra vegetables. Unfortunately, this was all the kale we had. I only made these two little bowls. One whole bunch of kale. I need to start buying more kale because it's never enough. Okay, so I thought it would be really cute if we did like a little ornament tour on the tree. Just so y'all can see like some of my more special ornaments that you may not be able to see just like when I show the tree. So all of these ornaments with like the leaves inside, I made like one or two years ago when I lived alone and I wanted to make ornaments for my tree. This one, Hawaii 2016, my grandma took me to Hawaii for graduation as like a little graduation trip. My aunt and uncle live in Hawaii, so we stayed with them. And my grandparents and my parents both met in Hawaii, so it's like a really special place for all of us. That's also where I got my tattoo on the side of my arm with the flower and the with the hibiscus and the wave. I got that on our last night in Hawaii because I learned to surf there and it was so much fun. All of these black ornaments I got when I had the tree that was leaning sideways. I talked about that in another vlog. This one says Deadly Nightshade. You can, it's kind of hard to tell. I made these for that, for that Nightmare Record Before Christmas tree. And you know, I live in Texas, so of course we have a little Texas baby snowman. I've had this forever and I don't even remember where it came from. Here's another one of the ones that I made. And then we have an ornament that we got from the pecan farm last year. Same place that we got the little magnet that I already showed y'all. Got this cute little penguin. I've had him for a couple of years. I don't remember exactly where I got him either. We have a little KitchenAid that I've had for quite a few years because obviously degree in pastry have to. This little guy says frog's breath. This ornament is really special because I got it when I was a gymnast after a competition. They always used to give us, all the moms would give us like gifts after each competition. So we got an ornament one time and it's actually like a really nice glass ornament that I got. What is it? It even says it's from the year 2000. So wow, 20 years old. Wow, I like... That blows my mind that that ornament is 20 years old. I like, I feel like I remember getting it. Like, what? There's no way. There's no way. Maybe this wasn't from after a competition. I don't know. What? Maybe the year on it is wrong, who knows? But like, that's wild. We've got a Jack Skellington up here. Another one of these um, chalk ornaments. I just love this adorable high heel. I do not know where it's from. We've got a tiny little snowman that says Matt on it. I'm not sure when or where he got that, but it's cute. 
And then my mom made this ornament a couple years ago. I think I got her a ornament kit for Christmas to like make her own ornaments and she made that. I'm sorry about all the noise in the background. My partner is doing the dishes for me and we are very, very grateful. I have another one of the chalk ornaments. This one says Wormsworth. So a lot of these are like the little potions and stuff from Nightmare Before Christmas. Little potions and ingredients. And then back here, we haven't got too many ornaments, but we've got this little guy, tis the season, little nutcracker. And then we've got a little chef, little sparkly chef over here. We should open this so that like people can see the tree outside. And we've also got this little cute little bear. I've had him for a long time too. And I, again, I don't know where I got him. I don't know where I got most of my ornaments cause they, I've had them for a really long time. And I kind of feel bad about that, but like, you know, we, we do what we can. Ooh, also we have this little cute wine bottle. Little grapes on the front. And then also, of course, a Starbucks cup, because we have to. My grandma works for Starbucks, so I'm pretty sure she got that for me like a couple of years ago. And then we just have some candy canes and some regular blue and silver ornaments, which I want to get a bunch of more blue ornaments because I feel like the tree has not got enough blue on it for our like blue and white theme since the tree is white. Hopefully we can go to Target next week and get some more blue ornaments. Yeah, that's the tree tour. Um, we're cleaning up to go to bed now, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a Vlogmas day. And hit that like button if you like today's video, if you like my ornaments and Tomorrow, we will actually be going out and doing something. I have an appointment tomorrow. So while it's been nice to spend a couple days at home and get things done, we're going out, we're doing something tomorrow. So come back, you're not gonna wanna miss that. All right, bye y'all.